Jen, I need your help. Walk this way. We're going to call this an old start, cold start. A what cold start? An old start, cold start. It's a 1953 dozer that's been sitting here since uh, the first week of March of 2009. And now it's like the last week of May of 2009. It's sort of grown in. We need to move it back there to do some car crushing videos. And a lot of people have asked me how to start a gas diesel dozer. But I really couldn't show it starting by myself because I have to hold the camera. So I'll hold the camera and you're going to learn how to start a dozer and how to drive one. Sweet. And then if you come back tomorrow, you can do the crushing video. Sweet. What are we crushing? A Saturn 1996. Plastic car. Yep, plastic car and a 1994 Tercel. Uh, is it that white one? The red one. Oh. Cool. Alrighty. Climb on board. Yay. Now I haven't taught you anything yet, so I'll show you. I believe it's going to start, even though it hasn't been started so long. We got to get the job done before the rain comes. It's always starts, so I'm hoping. This is called the decompression lever. Okay. Just try pulling that knob. It's hard to pull. All the way till it clicks. Okay. Click? Yep, you actually gotta hold that with your left hand while you're starting it all the way till it clicks. Okay, it's clicked. Alright, now don't you can let go. I'm gonna show you what to do next. Okay. This is the start button. Okay. Just give it a quick push. Okay, that engages the starter. Okay. This lever is the clutch. When it's all the way that way, the vehicle doesn't move. When you pull it towards you, the vehicle takes off. Pull it all the way towards you till it clicks. Harder. <laughs> I'm not Hercules. Well, you gotta use two hands, maybe. There, it clicked. That means it's ready to, it will be driving right now when you're doing that. Okay. So that's how that works. Lift this knob up and down. See how it's got little notches to go in? Yep. That's the throttle for the diesel. The gas setting when you start it is always the same speed. But that's the throttle setting for the diesel so you can, once it's running on diesel, you can set it to run any speed you want. When it's all the way at the bottom like it is now, yep. it shuts it off. No, no fuel. Okay. The knob that says C on it is the choke. The choke is on right now. Okay. Choke is off. Uh, when you start it, you pull it out. Oops, it gets stuck now and then. Pull it out gently. Uh, there you go. If you pull it out too hard, it gets stuck on choke. Okay. As soon as I say go, that means it'll be puffing black smoke and it'll be time to take the choke off. Okay. If I say more choke, you pull the choke almost all the way out, not quite as far as it is now, to give it a little bit of choke while it's starting, and then when I say off, you push it in again because. It's sort of like full choke when it starts, then no choke, and then a little bit of choke. Okay. So we put this back in neutral, so push the clutch all the way forward. <laughs> there you go. Remember, don't ever, don't ever pull that lever when I'm standing on the track, yeah. so you're going to make hamburger out of me. Mm. <laughs> and the dozer will just keep doing, going and stop and crush your truck. I mean, it won't even stop. It'll just crush your truck. Yep, you'll have more than just carnage over there. <laughs> and then Brittany and Gerard will be hamburger too. Okay, so the, to get lever force when you're pulling that knob, if you put your feet back there, you'll pull your whole body forward. So I like to put a foot on each brake pedal to stabilize my body. It's getting windy, so we've got to work quick. Yep. Storm could be coming. So you're using that to get force to hold your body when you're pulling that knob. So, push both pedals down, get your body in a strong position, and pull that knob all the way with your left hand. No, no, the, the knob, no, not the not. handle. Yep, hard with the left hand till it clicks. Yep. Now, push that silver button. Push the choke in, push the choke. Pull it out. Okay, that's good. Now push the knob, the silver button again. Alrighty, push the 
choking a little bit. Now if he's running on gas. And the wind's picking up. And the tornado's coming. Push the turbo all the way in. Now we gotta hold this knob for about 40 seconds until it warms up on gas. say go, you lift up this knob and let go of this one. You lift this one up halfway. Are you ready? Go! There, now it's running on diesel. Notice how the sound changed. You did a good job. First timer. Now let's see if it's got enough hydraulic oil in it to lift the blade. To, to lift the blade you pull that lever all the way back. Pull. All the way. Keep going. Keep lifting. All the way. Done. Now what we got to do is speed it up to run a little bit faster. Lift it up more. This one. Lift this one up more. Okay, now we let it run for a couple minutes, and then we're ready to pull this knob and it will dry. It's smoking because there's a hole in the exhaust. Beauty and the Beast.